Now you'd have to be living under a rock not to have picked up on the hype surrounding controversial new superhero movie, Kick-Ass. We sat down with this cast to talk hardcore training, uncomfortable costumes, and having Nicolas Cage as their superhero dad. How come nobody's ever tried to be a superhero? Well, I don't know. Probably because it's impossible. Putting on a mask and helping people? How's that impossible? Dude, if anybody did it in real life, they'd get their ass kicked. Kick-Ass is the brand new superhero movie with a difference. The superhero has no powers and actually isn't really super at all. Expose sat down with the stars of the film, starting with Aaron Johnson and Christopher mintz Plas, who originally auditioned for each other's roles. Uh, yeah, I got the script sent to me. Um, my agent sent it to me. I read it, went in for Kick-Ass. Matthew just absolutely hated it, hated the audition, thought it was shit, and, uh, <laughs> and gave me the part of Red Mist right there. Cool. So, so what was your favorite part of playing a superhero? Was the costumes? Because the costume was pretty cool. I don't know, that's the favorite part. <laughs> <of> the... <laughs> is that the, the worst part? Could be the worst part is the costumes. <laughs> it looks, they look great, it, which yeah. is amazing. That's how you want it to be, but they were very uncomfortable. Oh, were they? Yes. In what, in what way, did just some heavy, or were they just... Well, did you, I wear a jock strap, <laughs> you, you, know, you, you know, it's something tight that goes right up your bum crack. Yeah, and I had something, a jock strap before your body up here, so the cape could latch around your arms, and it kind of rubbed and got rashes underneath my armpits. Okay. And uh, it was a leather suit, so lots of scenes underneath hot lights, lots of sweat came out of that. Sounds like a lot of chafing went on, Chris. But worse than that, the guy's got a few injuries, too. Uh, I got a couple of few bruises and stuff, nothing major. I mean, Chris almost knocked himself out with a numb I was blind, yeah. Uh, I, we did our fight scene at the end, and I whacked him, and it bounced off his shoulder blade or off his jetpack in the last scene. It came straight back and whacked me right above the eye. Above the eye. Yeah, yeah. and if that, got, cool, though, if that was an man. inch lower, it would have popped my eyeball out, man. It would have been bad. Well, there was but, some, there's some dangerous equipment in this. So were you trained in it, or was it just go for it with them? They no. Kinda, they kind of just went kind of free-for-all with us. They kind of yeah. kind of expect us just to be a bit more manic uh, mm -hmm. with it. I mean, Chloe got all the attention from for the training. Ah, yes, Chloe, the controversial girl who played the role of foul-mouthed violent superhero hit girl when she was 11. So did she know about the kick-ass comic before signing on to the film? Well, I knew, we knew about the script, but then I read the comic book after I booked it, which uh, I can only read some parts of it. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. the parents won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> did you have too much training for this role? Because you seem to be the one who does most of the moves in this. You've I did. I did about 99% of all my stunts, except for, like, you know, the crazy flips. But okay. besides that, I did almost everything, yeah. And was that intense then? It was months and months training. Yeah, I did about a month. A month and a half before the movie even started filming, um, we did just basic training, you know, taking the gun apart, putting it back together, loading it, unloading it, gun safety, stuff like that. And then once we started doing the film, I did more, you know, of the in-depth stuff, you know, with the choreography and working the bow staff and the bow song and actually shooting the guns. Okay. Which is a lot. <laughs> One thing that it seems to be, uh, your character obviously kicks ass, so there's a lot of violence <laughs> in this film. You. Were your parents cool, cool with that as well when they kind of you signed up and got on board with this film? Yeah, my mom actually read the script before I did. And she said, you know, she gave it to me. And she was like, Chloe, you have to read this. It's an amazing role. It's you know, it's what you've been wanting to do. And then when I read it, I was like, I have to be a girl, you know? <laughs> I mean, it was just insane. It's totally insane. And when you first put on that costume, was that the moment you kind of went, I'm so cool right now, I'm a girl? Well, actually, the very first time I put it on, it was really ill-fitting. It was really funny. Oh, really? It was, like, made as, like, one gigantic suit. And it was really funny because it was like big giant shoulder pads. <laughs> and then like I came back a week later and they're like, we modified it. Oh and it was fabulous. You know, really? it was what you see now. And it was, it was actually, it's actually two pieces, which is kind of cool. You can't even see it. Okay. Nicolas Cage plays Hit Girl's dad, Big Daddy, in the film. So what was it like to have a superhero version of Nicolas Cage as your dad? Nick was the nicest guy ever, really. If you met him, you would just be like, wow, he's... He's a really cool guy. Well, Chloe, for a 13 year old, we think you're pretty cool too. Kick ass is in cinemas nationwide now. That's right, we're superheroes. You love us.